but turning the clock back was simply not possible. The growth of consumerism and prosperity in the 50s would change Bedfordshire. By the late 50s, car ownership across the country had quadrupled and the growing number of vehicles was beginning to clog up the town centre of Bedford. We are looking down on Silver Street, which was pedestrianised in the 1980s. The traffic passes across the High Street and into Mill Street. The twin demands of traffic and development would alter the appearance of Bedford significantly. To the left of the bridge is the Picture Drome, one of the four cinemas in the town at that time. It was closed in 1964 and replaced by a high-rise hotel. The Bridge Hotel in the centre of this shot burnt down in 1979. In the background, we can see the rise of what is now Bedford College. At this time, the market still took place in St Paul's Square. The 50s was the last decade when the residents of the town relied on small shops and the market to supply their groceries. Within a few years, the new supermarkets would transform the way people shopped. In the 1990s, the market moved to the Riverside Square car park, although some of the stalls have since returned to St Paul's Square. We are now moving southbound along the A6 from the Angler's Rest at Clapham in the direction of where Sainsbury's now stands. The film jumps to De Paris Avenue, a wide road which was built, along with the rest of the surrounding area, in the 1880s. The car turns right into Burnaby Road and to the gates of Bedford School. While Bedford School remained on its premises, Bedford Modern did not. It moved out of its building in 1974. Sadly, only the facade was retained, the rest being turned into a shopping centre. The car now drives along the embankment and arrives at the plaza. This was one of the centres of town nightlife, being first a dance hall, a cinema and then a nightclub. The growth in traffic would have a number of effects on the town's layout and architecture. As car ownership continued to climb, minor traffic offences became too onerous for the police and a new figure of authority was introduced, the traffic warden. The wardens were unpopular from the word go, but they managed to relieve pressure from the police who were able to turn their attention to the more serious crimes. In 